and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought we would go over the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So I figured I'd give you my recommendations for the sale. I love the 21 Days of Beauty. It's a great way to try new products. If you are not familiar with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, it is 21 days where they select certain products that go on sale every single day, and they will only be on sale for that specific day, and each product is 50% off. So it's a great way to build your collection if you're new into makeup. This is the way I built my collection. I tried a bunch of products from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty when I was first starting getting into makeup and building my collection. So I learned about products that I loved, products I wasn't thrilled with, and it was just a nice way to try out different products and see what works for your skin. So figured I would go through the days that have the best deals, and then I would also, at the end, go through the products that I'm thinking of picking up. There actually aren't too many this year, but it'd still be fun to pick up one or two products, and I do need a mascara, and luckily, mascara is a big thing that goes on sale. If you do see me look down, it is because that I have the ads pulled up on my phone, and I will just go through the different days that I think have the best sales. We'd be here way too long if I went over each day. So... Um, before we get into it, I do hope you'll click that subscribe button. I am working on posting every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I am on track this week. I'm so excited. And of course, because the 21 Days of Beauty information just came out, I am filming an extra video this week. So I'm ahead of schedule for once. Hopefully by this week, moving forward, we really will have a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. It's looking good so far. All right, let's jump into it. So the first day is Sunday, March 14th. So this coming Sunday, the first product that I think is definitely is mostly a steal if you prefer a felt tip liner is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I loved that eyeliner back in the day. I used to have a ton of backups and then I was introduced to uh, brush tip liners and I prefer brush tip liners. If you like a felt tip liner, it will be $11, which is basically drugstore prices. So you might as well pick up a nice eyeliner if a felt tip liner is for you. On that day, there will also be a surprise steal. You'll have to check online and in store on the 14th to find out what that is exactly. But... I'm interested, so I'm going to definitely check back in on that Sunday to find out what the mystery steal is of the day. And on March 15th, we have the Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Oil Free Primer. I have used Smashbox primers in the past. They are fantastic. Um, I know the mattifying ones really do work. I have tried them before. And they're a little too matte for my skin, but I do like the one that reduces redness, and I did like their hydrating one. So Smashbox primers are great if you're looking to kind of smooth out your skin or blur your skin before your foundation. So I would highly recommend one of those Smashbox primers. Then the next deal that I thought was really good starts on Friday, March 19th. And there are two things on this day that are actually a great steal. So the first one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlight. They are now $19, which is definitely a steal. Um, and as you may know, Becca is shutting down their company September of this year. So if you have wanted to try a highlighter from Be Becca, I highly suggest grabbing one during the sale. It'll be 50% off. You can try the formula, see what all the hype is about. I definitely love Becca highlights. Um, I actually have never tried Champagne Pop though, so I'm thinking of maybe grabbing one, but I'm not sure. So those are a great seal. And then on that same day, we also have the It Brushes for Ulta. They're the Airbrush Foundation Brushes. It brushes are fantastic. They make some great foundation brushes and usually during the 21 Days of Beauty sale, this is a great time to bulk up on your brushes. If you've not tried higher end brushes, they usually do have a lot of It Cosmetics brushes on sale and the foundation brushes are very nice. So I would definitely recommend those. They will be 
$22 to, or no, I'm sorry, they're originally $22 to $28, and they will now be $11 to $14, which is a deal. Then starting the second week, on Sunday, March 21st, we have the Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Creams. I usually buy one or two of these for each sale. I love Buxom lip glosses. They look beautiful, and they kind of switch, like, one time of the year they'll have the creams on sale and then they'll have the sheer glosses with the glitter on sale probably later in the fall. They're lovely glosses. They feel comfortable on the lips. They stay for a pretty long time. I mean it is a gloss. It'll wear off. But I think that Buxom glosses last pretty well. So definitely recommend those. Then on Wednesday, March 24th, now this is just if you prefer an eyeshadow primer versus a uh, concealer. They have the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer, which back in the day I did love, but now that I'm trying to cut down on fewer steps in my makeup routine, I do not use. But I've gone through at least three bottles of those in the past. I didn't always do the whole full glam, but I always used eyeshadow. So I always had one of these Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potions on hand. I thought they were fantastic. So definitely highly recommend that. Then on March 25th, which is a Thursday, the salon at Ulta Beauty will be doing color gloss hair services. And that will be $22.50 to $45. Which I've heard... Some people getting their hair done at Ulta, they really enjoy it. I have a specific person that I will go to. He's my ride or die. But I have heard that some people do really enjoy getting their hair done at Ulta. So if you are looking for a new color, something to jump into spring with, might as well go and get your hair done. And then on Friday, March 26th, Benefit has the Gimme Brow Tinted Volumizing Eyebrow Gel on sale for $12, which I already have two backups of great products. I think I prefer the ColourPop these days, but being 50% off, I would say it's definitely worth it and you should grab one if you like Benefit products. They are very nice. For week two, on Saturday, March 27th, the Tarte Maneater Mascara will be on sale for $11.50. And they will also be having a surprise deal on that day. The mascara from Tarte is very nice. It has the spiky, kind of plasticky mascara tips instead of the bristles that some mascara wands do. I really did like the Man Eater mascara back in the day, so I might actually pick one up. I'm not sure. But that's a great deal for $11.50. That's back to drugstore prices, so definitely a steal. And then finally for week three. This is where I get excited. So on Sunday, March 28th, the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Primer and Setting Spray will be on sale. I can't tell you how much I love MAC's Fix Plus. Such a good setting spray. Such a good refreshing spray. I use it all the time. I love the fun different scents it comes in. MAC does have a fragrance-free Fix Plus, and then they also do have this different scent. So it's just your preference, whether you prefer having a scented product or a non-scented product, completely up to you. And then, the next interesting product, I love buying these, this is just an extra nice step on a Sunday when you're giving yourself a facial or a spa day or a face mask. These are the Skin Iceland Firming Eye Gels and they have four and eight counts on sale, so it's seven to 16.50. I've purchased these in the past. I absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic. They hydrate your under eyes if you have dry under eyes like I do. And they're just a nice luxurious thing to have. So if you're looking to treat yourself, I would highly suggest those. Then on Saturday, April 3rd, this is the last day of the sale, they will have both the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Curling and Lifting Mascara and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz on sale. And the Benefit Mascara will be $13 and the Brow Wiz will be $11.50 each. So I will definitely be picking up some Brow Wizzes that day. And the Mascara, the Benefit Mascara, I'm currently not purchasing from Benefit. But if I were, the Roller Lash is a fantastic 
mascara. I love that mascara. It makes my lashes look so volumized. So I would definitely recommend those two products. For my wish list, because there are some products on here that I have not tried. Um, in the first week, I would like to try a Peach and Lily product. They have the Cream Pudding Antioxidant Cream and the Treatment Essence on sale, and I think I'd like to try the Treatment Essence. I have not tried their essence, and I would like to see if it's worth all the hype that people are talking about, if it is a lovely essence, if it could be an affordable dupe for the Tatcha Essence. And I know that Peach and Lily goes on sale all the time, so I would really like to see if it's worth it in the end, try on a new skincare product, see if I enjoy it. Um, I will say that on Thursday, March 18th, the Elemis, the Collagen Marine Cream, I did purchase that one time when it was on sale, and it was okay, but it wasn't the best, and for a skincare product, I don't always like to fall in love with higher-end skincare products that go on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty, because you're going to have to be repurchasing that at least every four to six months. So if you fall in love with it and then you run out when there's no sale and now you have to pay $80 for your Holy Grail cream, it's kind of disappointing. So that's why I try to avoid some of these, but it was um, also 21 Days of Beauty in the past have given me the opportunity to try these products and tell you whether or not they're worth it. So I would just say that the Elemis collagen cream is not worth it. And then for week two, the thing that I really want to try. On Monday, March 22nd, the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation will be on sale for $18. So I have never tried that foundation, but everybody raves about it. And I've heard such great things. Do I need another foundation? No. Do I want another foundation? Yes. I would love to try this. So I think that's going to be the one foundation from the sale that I'm going to buy. There is another one I have my eye on, but I'm pretty sure that currently I'm going to pick up the Pure Cosmetics foundation during the sale. And I'm also kind of thinking of trying the Power Couple mini kit. Um, I would like to try the oil just to see if it's worth it. I know the Good Jeans is kind of, it's okay. It doesn't do anything dramatic for my skin. Um, I've tried it two months. I think I went three months using it and I just didn't see a difference in my skin. So I stopped using it and I didn't miss it. But the oil I heard is really nice. So I would like to try the facial oil. And then for week two, like I said, I'll probably get that Tarte mascara on Saturday, March 27th. And I'd like to know what the surprise steal is on that day as well. And then finally for week three, I'm I'm trying to avoid backups, but if on March 28th, when the MAC Fix Plus goes on sale, if the Cherry Blossom edition goes on sale, I will at least buy one of those. I love the Cherry Blossom one. They came out with it two years ago, and I bought two bottles, and I love it. I still have one in my collection, but I would love to have a backup of that, so <laughs> if the Cherry Blossom scent is on sale that day, then I will be picking up one Mac, Mac Fix Plus. But if it is not, then I will not purchase any more Mac Fix Plus because I don't need any more. Um, I was also interested in trying the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Makeup Primer. I've heard interesting things about that primer. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm also not sure if primers are going to stick around. I feel like more and more people are moving away from primers, and I have some primers that I can see help my skin, but there are also primers that I know are just taking up space in a drawer and they don't really do anything. They're just an extra step. So we shall see if I actually do purchase that or not. And then on Friday, April 2nd, I am interested in the face tape foundation. I heard great things about it when it first came out. Everybody was talking about it, saying it was so great. Um, I might watch a few more reviews and see what the coverage is like, remind myself why everybody liked it, but I usually like Tarte foundations, they're usually very hydrating, they look very good on my skin and they last a long time, so that's why I was kind of interested in that, but I'm really intrigued by this pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie foundation, so I do still have to decide between the two. And then, this is not going to be a surprise to anybody because I've already said it in this video, 
But on April 3rd, I definitely am going to buy at least one or maybe two brow wizards from Anastasia Beverly Hills because I do love them. I go through bra products pretty quickly. I've decided not to dye my hair. So I thought I might as well pick up some brow products in the current hair color that I have, let my natural hair color grow out a little more, and then switch back to some of my backups. But I would like to pick up maybe a shade, maybe an auburn shade, and then my natural hair color shade, which is like a blondy, ready kind of color. But I'm usually a number two in Benefit, so that is what I'm wearing today, and it doesn't look horrible. So we'll see. All right, guys, that is everything for the 21 Days of Beauty sale. I would love to hear what you guys are picking up. Feel free to comment down below what you think you might try out for the sale. And um, I'll do a haul video as soon as all of my products show up once the sale is over. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.